Hello. Fuck Twitter. Man, we had a... Because <laughs> George knew I was going to roll right into yeah. the Twitter thing. Yes, follow us on Twitter. Um, I'm sure you know the addresses by now. If you don't, they will be in the background behind us. I'd just like to say hello to my high yellow ninja, um, Andy, out in California, holding it down in Compton. Oh, shit. He's, he's doing big things. He, yeah. he he always talks about how he loves being high yellow. And yeah. Yeah, he says high yellow ninjas do it the best. I was like, whatever. They do, man. High yellow ninjas are known to fuck some shit up. I'm just letting you know. Shout out. Real quick, we have a follower that has followed us for a long time. His name is G Will 1982. And he has a boy, Dorian Powell, who. And he a, doesn't mean child. He means like friend. Yeah, he has a, a friend, a friend. And him and his boy are going to be heading to Chicago to see the UFC on Fox 2. And on the 29th, his buddy, Dorian Powell, it will be his birthday. So happy birthday to you. This also, ain't some Sandusky shit, right? It's not. He's not like 13. I know. Okay. Just and checking. No, no, none of that shit. Now, there's also <laughs> a happy birthday to James John Jeffers. And uh, Who, also. Wait, time out. Who names you that? Did they do that shit on CJ, purpose? Uh, see, see, Triple J, I'm just telling you right now, I'm man. in a shitty mood. I don't care. George I'll be the first to admit it. Up. Today guys... was a bad day. It was a long weekend. The puppy slept all of one hour last night. <laughs> yeah, no. Fuck that. I'm not in a good mood. There are more shout outs. Oh um, there's a shout out to Taylor. There's a shout out to Jonathan Kiernan. And there, I have to give daps to D. Franklin 09 <laughs> because he said that his heat would fuck up my Lakers. Wait, wait. And, yep. Yeah. They did. The Alaskan assassin just hit another three. Yeah. Oh, Mike Miller just hit one. And not only did the Heat do it, but then Orlando did it. <laughs> and then the Pacers did it last night. The who? The Indiana Pacers. Dude, name a player on the Pacers besides Danny Granger. And I don't even know if Hibber. he played. Who? Who? Roy Hibbert, man, who Ooh. played in G-Town. Ooh. Hibbert. And he broke, Roy Hibbert broke his nose and said, fuck that shit, man. I'm still going to play, man. I'm going to do like Willie Reed, Willis Reed did it back in the 70s. What's he thinking, he a hockey out. player? Yeah, he rolled out. With man. a helmet? No. <laughs> Came back with a helmet on? Yeah, man, with kickstand on that shit. Now. Can we talk about the Wizards? Uh, No. Why not? Uh, They're doing really well. Yeah. They beat the best team in the league. Let, no, the best team in the league fell asleep. Yeah. That's all that happened. For a long Wizards, ass time. Wizards are Bad. They're really bad, man. They're they're just really bad. I mean, bad. I'd ooh. yeah, yeah. The the Washington area, DC area, does not have. Uh, we're just all of our teams are just really fucking up right now, dude. The, 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 the Caps the, look struggling. The Wizards are trifling. Dude, the Caps got wrecked by the Penguins the other night. National skins. National, <laughs> I, yeah. I'm glad I don't cheer for any of them. Cecil Fielder Except was like, no bitches. Cecil, Cecil. No, that's his daddy, Prince. Oh, yes. Right. Whoops. Wrong fielder. Cecil Fielder is the only man I've ever seen reach into the other batter's box, reach out with one arm, and pull it down the left field line. He dude. did that shit at Camden. Yeah. That shit was great. Now, let's talk about a little bit of mixed martial arts. Oh, can Does we? that surprise you guys a bit? Um, there was a UFC on FX that happened this past Friday. One, over 1.1 1. 1 million viewers at one point. Yeah. Had its peaks. Yeah. Shit was like a roller coaster. First event of the night that was televised was Pat, Pat Barry versus Christian Moorcraft. Moorcraft has obviously lost a lot of weight because he had a lot of loose skin around his belly, but that shit did not help because it was distracting the shit out of me. I could not focus on the fight. I was just watching his big old belly jiggle. His, no, Pat Barry hits, hits hard. Yeah, Pat Barry does it. Pat Barry's got a cool personality too, man. He's yeah. like a clown and jokes. I, I he's he's got a he was on a little bit of a losing streak. Losing streak, cause, and uh, it shouldn't have been. Yeah. I mean, he could have beat Czech, beat Czech Congo, could've. but he just that just Should've didn't go would've. his way. But he did defeat Christian Moorcraft, KO, in 338 of the first round. Mm -hmm. Mike Eason, a hometown boy from Cap Springs. That Bama is jacked. Yeah. He's, he's, he is a little spastic little son of a bitch. Dude, yeah. why don't you call your people and let us meet him? We're going to have to go down and talk to Mike Easton. Hey, Mike, if you're tuning in, man, you can roll up here whenever you want to and do an interview. You can sit in the middle of me and George and Dude, I won't even be want. here. I'll we just sit on the steps shit. and watch. Um, he is uh, jacked. won a majority decision. Against, but he uh, got. they both were a little gassed in that third round. And yeah. it, But and again, here we go to the scoring. Right. The, the <laughs> one judge had it 30-27, which I could see. Right. But then one had it 29-28 and one had it 29-29. Like, what are these people looking at? I don't know. How? I mean, that's it. Dude, to tell Maybe me. Maybe the ring card girls. <laughs> I wouldn't. I'd have given the ring girl more than 29 points. Yeah. So. I, I just, I, I just, yeah. So the the judging just, it just, it it's stinks. just all over the place it sometimes. It stinks. Now. That, that should be, that should be Dana White's goal this year. 
Just Besides don't. making a shit ton of money because new protocol. The, dude, <laughs> He's get, making money like shit. Oh my god, they're making money hand Warbucks. over fist. Um, but they they should pressure the shit out of the N N Nevada State Commission to revamp the scoring on MMA because it's not boxing. Right. It's 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 kind of there's just. Yeah, I'm not going to go any further with it. Anyway, Dwayne the welterweight Ludwig. bout was Dwayne Ludwig versus Josh Neer. Ludwig. Now, um, the dentist tapped that bam out. You know, it's funny. Yeah, they, these fights went pretty much the way Vegas predicted them. I mean, there were no upsets, in my opinion. No upsets. Any, anything that was just nobody was not expecting. Um, uh, Neer defeated L Ludwig via a technical submission. A guillotine, in other words. That bam um, went. And was snoring. Courtesy yep. of Lunesta. Now... And the lightweight bout, the featured bout, um, it was actually a co-featured event. I don't know why they did that. But uh, Miller was going up against Melvin Gillard. And, George, you called this. And I think we all kind of called it. It was like it was the typical thing. Melvin Gillard has so much talent. He does. I mean, he does. He has a lot of talent. But the problem is until he learns how to not blow his wide immediately and get submitted. Can I tell you what he's not talented at? Takedown defense and submission defense. Right. Because I'm going to tell you what, if you if you take Melvin down, it's done. Because he'll is. just let you take his back and yeah. then tap him out. Cause I, I don't understand it for some How do you have that many fights and not know how to? He's had close to 60 fights. And he's still young. And it's like, you know, a lot of people, and, and several people have worked with him or camps that he's been in and said that he's a great, he, he's got so much potential and so much upside. But I don't know how you keep getting caught in the same thing. Uh, you know, I mean, it's taking nothing away from the guy because, like, like we say, you know, you're a professional MMA fighter. You're a bad motherfucker. Exactly. But, but I, I just I, I don't see him going anywhere. Got, it seems like as soon as he gets on, it, it gets some momentum going and he gets starts to work his way up in the lightweight ranks. Bam, this shit happens. 42 again. total fights, 42, 29 wins, and he's got 10 losses. Guess how many of those losses are by submission? I'm going to say nine. Yes. Damn, I'm a bad motherfucker. Holy and his prediction. last two have been Negro Damas, Negro Damas. Oh, and his last two have been to the same move: rear naked choke. Yeah, Jim Miller and Joe Luazen. I mean, come Maybe on. Maybe she keeps some clothes on then. It won't ah. be a naked choke. Anyway, uh, let's move on to some other MMA news. Ooh. Your favorite person in the whole entire world, mm -hmm. Chell Sonnet, is yep. going to be fighting Michael Bisping, is. who is of equal shit talking, probably. Yeah, but you know what? They really haven't done a whole lot, which is thoroughly disappointing because that's the whole. I, I thought that was going to be more exciting than the fight. I'm serious. I don't think they had enough time to mm -hmm. get their stuff together. Because the only thing I've read... From those two guys? Yeah, the only thing I've read from Bisbing is if he takes me down, I'll tap him out. Which, looking at Chael's record, it probably could happen. It could happen. Because he's not too good at defending uh, submissions either. This is an interesting fight because Chael Sonnen, we all know, is a phenomenal wrestler. Jeff. But Bisping is a underrated MMA fighter. I, I definitely underrate him. I'm giving uh, yeah. him a little more credit. And you know what? I, I went online, and I'm looking for something funny that Chael Sonnen said. And I actually found myself agreeing with one thing he said, and it had to do with God. I'll let you guys find that on your own. But he, Chael Sonnen said, yeah, I'll watch this fight if he makes well, it. Somebody tweeted me today that basically said Sonnen said, yeah, I trained for months to fight a wrestler, and now I'm fighting a guy that talks like someone so from South Park. Oh, <laughs> some I don't yeah. Remember. yeah I, I couldn't find anything for Sonnen. Like I said, the only thing I found on Sonnen was him saying that you know, basically Bisbing hadn't fought anybody, and that's not his problem. And I respect him. I'm like, that's the Chael Sonnen I know. He only talks trash about one fighter and one fighter only. I, I think I, I mean I think if you look at Bisping, he fought Henderson and he came up short. And I Rashad think if you Evans. look at uh, yeah Rashad Evans, and I think if you look at Sonnen, he fought Silva and came up short. I mean. You know, I don't, I don't think Sonnen has fought that many more worthy opponents than uh, Bisping has. I mean, no. I just don't see it. How, um, how do you see this fight going? Because um, this should be a five-round fight. I, I see a fight. The fight can go only two ways, in my opinion. If if the fight goes to decision, I would have to say it's going to be Sonnen. He's going to control the fight, the tempo fight, take Bisping down, and and I hate to say it, but probably hump him to death. You know what I'm saying? And try to, you know, I mean, it's just, I would think that that's what he has to do to beat Bisping. Mm -hmm. um, I think if, uh, for Bisping to win, I think the fight can't, I, I would be very surprised for Bisping to pull off a decision. That's something I can't see happening. I see Bisping could just get him in trouble and maybe hurt him and then maybe get a, get a uh, submission on him when he injures him, maybe through punches or something like that. I don't know if he could just knock out Chell, but maybe he could get him in enough trouble where he could get him in a rear naked choke or something else like that. Well, now ground. that you've broken down how you could see the fight going, who do you have winning? That's a hard fight to call, man. I'm dead serious. Um, 
Sonnen. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to agree with you. <laughs> I just because he's such I think a good he's just fucking wrestler. Strong. Yeah, he's just and and I understand what people are gonna say is that Bisbing did a good job at stuffing Rashad Evans takedowns. And now I'm gonna tell you what. Now that's a fight I'd like to see. I'd love to see Rashad Evans and Chael Sonnen fight. Love it. Chael's big. Chael can fight at 205. Yeah. I'd love to see Chael Sonnen and Rashad Evans fight at 205. I think Rashad might be a little too quick for that mug. I, that's covered. why I'd love to see it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, right, yeah. I mean, anyway, but, uh, I, 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 the main reason I'm doubting Bisbing is because every time I doubt him, he wins. Now, his last two wins against one dude who just retired and right. Jason Mayhem Miller, who probably only has one fight left if he performs that way. Before he, before that, Bisbing fought Akiyama and Dan Miller. Akiyama! And both those were to decisions. Yeah. So I don't, and before that, he lost to Vonderle Silva, which I guess a lot of people Let's might. talk about rumors in the MMA world. Who? You know what we've hearing? You know what? You know everybody out there, uh, all you MMA enthusiasts, what is is happening? Fedor. Yep. Fedor. Before, last time we talked about yeah. him, he was supposed to be the plus one for the Strike Strike Force Heavyweight yeah. Tournament, which is scheduled to take place sometime in 2014. Yeah. And his handlers or whatever, whoever it might be or whatever, probably got with the WWE. Talked to Ted DiBiase, and they found, Paul Hogan, and Mr. Paul Orndorff, Mr. Wonderful. Oh, yeah. And for all you WWE fans, rejoice because you're going to have a steel cage, Texas tornado ladder death match between Bobby Lashley and Fedor Emelianenko. They are in the talks of trying yeah. to, to put a, an, an MMA match. Yeah, an relax. MMA match. It's going to be an MMA fight between Fedor, you know, the emperor. The last, I, I, you know what? Bobby Somebody Lashley. brought that guy's name up the other day, and I said, yeah. who? I don't remember him. Who? Exactly. <laughs> but I, I'm going to tell you what. Fedor... Will kill Bobby Lashley. It, yeah. I, I just, you know, I mean, we, you know, George and I, I, we always try to call it like this, and sometimes people get their feelings hurt and they whine, and whether it be about MMA fighters or boxing, people get all emotionally wrapped up in these fighters' nuts, and they just fucking cry about shit. But yeah. we've, we, we were hard on Fedor when he started to ha show us signs of, you know, declining, and we were just being honest, but... I don't think he's declined. I just don't think he's declined to the point where Bobby Lashley can take him. And we could be wrong, but I tell you what, Bobby Lashley is just what, how is he going to beat Fedor? How? Because I tell you what, if he tries to take him to the ground, he will sambo the shit out of that big black burly bear. Sambo. Motherfucker. He will do it. He will sambo the sambo. <laughs> I had to do it, and I'm a brother. God damn. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I think that could really happen. Uh, now, for all you people out there who listened to my last one about, you know, running out there and watching a video, um, yeah. um, what was it, mostoffensivevideo.com, I appreciate watching that video pop up all over Facebook. I actually, that makes me giggle a little bit inside. Um, but another one is you should look up what Sambo means. Black Sambo, yeah. and then Not good. Yeah, no, not at all. Yeah. That's why I'm shocked you said it. I didn't say it. I wouldn't even go that well, uh, that far. You did not know what a sambo was until I just, I mean, Yes, I yo, no, I know. Have you, how long have you known? Um, long enough to that know better. In, in high school, motherfuckers got knocked out for saying yes. that shit. Black sambo, pow! Oh, sorry. What about Two, three, over there? What about shadow smurfs? Shadow smurfs. I, you know, I didn't get the shadow smurfs shit. Moon cricket? No moon cricket. Porch monkey. The porch monkey, yes. <laughs> motherfuckers had to get fucked up for that. I don't Where'd that one even come I from? I don't know. You know that, redneck motherfuckers come with all kinds of shit. Dude, it, you know, and it's funny because I, my school, it was funny because, you know. <laughs> but, but it's funny. Like, George and I just love, we're just getting way off the track with racial slurs and shit. But it's actually kind of fun. I, uh, I just, it was just never, like, a lot of times you never had somebody say it in their face. It's kind of like when they were driving off in their pickup truck. Hey, porch monkey. No, it was laughing like this. It's like. When they're driving down the road and they got really far where they knew you couldn't catch their ass, it was like this. And I was like, oh, they're out of range. Can't knock out a fucking redneck tonight. Anyway, you anyway. guys also need to go watch Clerks 2 because the one dude's trying to take Porch Monkey back. That is whole. Clerks 2? Yes. Did, it Clerks 2? Have, you haven't seen Clerks 2? Oh, you need to see, see Clerks 2 because the one dude doesn't think Porch Monkey is a bad word. Is, and there's two black dropped. people up in the restaurant. And he's like, what? What's wrong with Porch Monkey? I'm taking it back. Go watch Clerks 2 if you haven't yes. already. That's hilarious.